technology. Marketing Tech Blog. You know, you can really get trapped in that web of beepers, Zenith televisions, and Walkmans, and Discmans, and floppy disks, and zip drives, laser disks, answering machines, and Nintendo Power Glove. Wow, you know so much about technology. Technology. Nice. Yes. Uh, since we're talking about this, we actually had a uh, guest post from Pamela Weber. Uh, she runs oh, cool, 99 yeah. Designs. Yep. Uh, and so she wrote uh, a post on design trends to consider before creating your site. And it was a pretty interesting article because I had never, you know, really looked at it this way. But um, some of the design uh, uh, trends that she's seeing are <laughs> Aaron showing me how much time I have left for all you listeners. <laughs> 20 <out> seconds, <laughs> go. So, <laughs> so the first one is um, the first one is animation. Um, so rich animation is, is mm -hmm. getting seen everywhere now on the web. And, uh, I, I put a site out yep. Beagle, uh, Beagle is a, a, a proposal platform. If you go to their site, as you scroll, literally everything is moving in and out and, and, you know, receding and coming forward. It's really, really cool. Parallax we, had a lot to do with all that. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. And it, but this is even, you know, it's, it's, CSS it's, it's and... huge. Yeah. I, like if, if you go to DK new media and you, and you go to one of the inner pages, you'll see it. Like we have some of the titles actually swooping out and, sure. and everything. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, pretty I've cool. I've seen some of the typeface one. It looks like a typewriter typing. Yeah. And, and some, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's great. Um, the next one is actually Google. Google has a, uh, a design language developed called ma material design. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Um, material. But, <laughs> no, oh, I did that. Uh, oh not. My. Yeah, that was. I don't even know oh, if our no. listeners were born then. <laughs> <laughs> but material basically is breaking up um, the site into layers, a lot like a Illustrator would, or or or, or maybe if you're a Flash guy, the old Flash, um, but. But that's that. Talk about dated. <laughs> yeah, ab absolutely. There's physical properties with every element on a page. Right. There's transformations that happen with every object, and then there's movement of every object. Hmm. And they actually created a language around this to try to help designers develop interactive sites hmm. a lot easier because it is not easy working from raw, mm -hmm. you know, JavaScript and and CSS. So check that out. Just do a search for Google Material Design. And uh, and they've got an entire site on it. It's it's pretty pretty slick. Um, the next one has been around for a while. I think probably the last couple of years. Flat design, yeah. and that's just there's no shadows, there's no anything. Everything is is just looks like it's in a in a nice single layer. Um, and I I like that. Mm -hmm. I, I still tend to think that that's a very clean look. Um, watch out for split screens. This is becoming very common, and that's that, let's say you have two audiences that you're trying to reach. Right. Well, split the screen and talk to each of them. So almost have two kind of websites, you know, side by side, you know, within a web page. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we don't do that. We don't do that unless it's, you know, unless it's really kind of this binary decision. But one of the other things that we try to do from a navigation standpoint is try to think of what are the breakdowns. Like there might be industry breakdowns. So if you work with healthcare, you might want to have a healthcare navigation and section. Mm -hmm. Or if you work with a certain job function, a mm -hmm. CTO, CIO, CFO, you might want to have that breakdown within your site. Um, but I like that. I like that that thinking about a site and saying, you know, how do we target a section of the site? Sure. You know, towards a certain audience. I dig and, it. and most people do it. You know, in in marketing tech, it's always features. Well, that's great, but you know, if you're in healthcare. You want to know exactly how those features are Apply impacting. Yep. Yeah. Um, the next one, uh, the, this is uh, this is basically a, a saying, but dropping the Chrome, and that's that uh, sites are dropping navigation. Yeah. They're basically pulling the old horizontal and vertical navigation out, and we actually did that on our site. Hmm. So um, if you check it, check out again, DK New Media, not not Marketing Tech Blog, right? Um, but a lot of sites are really getting to that point where. Um, Cantaloupe in town, matter of fact, has a right. has a has a platform where they want to pull you through the site, so they don't want you to navigate. They don't want the user in charge of the experience. They want to create that's, the experience pretty, for the user. Yeah, absolutely, that's that's yeah. a very interesting concept, and you know people are going to do more and more of that because you got to control mm -hmm. the message. Yep. And that's exact. And and they're seeing a heightened um, engagement on it. They're mm -hmm. seeing people absolutely. 
take a longer time watching videos and transition from print to visuals and back and forth. So I, I think it's definitely a, 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 a direction that everybody needs to start yeah. thinking about is how do we make sure the visitor to our site doesn't leave without understanding who we are. And that's not just smashing it all into a homepage, <laughs> you know, homepage graphics slider. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> you know, and, um, mm. and then, uh, and then the, uh, the last one was uh full screen video, which mm. we've incorporated. You yep. guys have incorporated as well, right? Not yet. Oh, in the process. Yes. I thought, I thought you guys had a full, Mm-mm. full screen. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you waiting on? Wow. She, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so DK New Media again. If you go to it on a on a desktop, you'll see like we actually have a. It's a background video, sure. and you don't really notice. Right. Mm-hmm. right All right. of a sudden, you see things moving. You're like, "Whoa, what's, yeah. what happened there?" But that's becoming a, and it's uh, the technology is now there across browser and everything else to support. And that was um, one of the biggest challenges, right there. It, it absolutely was, and it's not. Again, it's not easy. Like. I think I have one program on a Mac that, you know, you take and convert like a file two different ways for Chrome or Safari, yep. you know, and then set it up and it's got to be short, concise, not a huge file. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a lot of, it's, 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 again, it's not easy, but the nice thing about videos now too is videos used to pop up as a layer yeah. you know, mm-hmm. in everybody's face. Well, now you can actually embed videos behind objects and everything else. So I've seen some really cool sites where video is being used mm-hmm. as just a accent, you know, on right. the site. And again, to tell the story, to tell the story. So, but, um, it, but it's almost immersive. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a yeah. level of it's no longer static. Yep, and it's no longer, longer having having to be interactive to actually get. Yeah, get, it's almost like you're bringing you, them deeper into. You know who's got that. a great a twelve stars video? Yeah, absolutely. Right? absolutely. 12, absolutely. Yeah. 12 stars uh, media, a great company here in town. They do video for people. Again, if, we're working on it. Okay. Yeah, if you go to their site, it's a full page video. That's right. Uh, and that that you get a feel for who the company is, who the people mm-hmm. are, how fun they are, everything else. So, um, so they're, yeah, they're take, good people over there. They are great people over there. Yeah. So take a look at, uh, again, marketing tech blog, uh, marketing tech blog.com. Follow mm-hmm. us on Twitter and, uh, you'll see the 2016 website trends. Sign up for the newsletter. Hey, if it, if you've never been to the site before, you'll get a nice introduction <laughs> through a web map, uh, a slide down <laughs> mechanism that will ask you for your email address. Uh-huh. Go ahead and sign up. And, and if it's big, giant, never, and pink. You'll never see it again. <laughs> we can only hope so. <laughs> Thanks, Doug, for a marketing tech blog.